Hey, it's Becky. Today I'm making a waxed canvas tool roll. I'll show you how to customize this easy sewing project to hold your specific tools no matter what you make. And then I'll take you through the wax process to add durability and water resistance. Let's get started. This is a fun little portable kit you can put together in an afternoon. Perfect for my motorcycle tools, but also could be great for drawing, electronics, or anything where you need to bring a variety of different size hand tools. I provide a pattern in the write-up for this project, and you can easily modify it to fit your needs. The waxing is an optional step that stiffens up the canvas and makes it more durable and resilient. This is a satisfying process where the melted wax soaks into the fabric with the application of heat. The cool thing about waxed canvas is that it only gets better with age. This project also makes an excellent gift for any makers in your life. Look for 100% cotton canvas in the colors of your choice and pick up some matching thread and a zipper. Metal is preferred since we're gonna heat this thing up. The first step is to iron the fabric with one fold selvage edges together and then cut out the pattern pieces. It's got one big rectangle for the main body, two pieces for the zipper pocket, two pieces for the tool holder area, and a strap to tie it up. When I was a kid, bags were the first thing I learned how to sew on a machine. They're easy because the shapes are pretty geometric, and ultimately success is defined by its utility. Either it holds stuff or it doesn't. Unlike sewing clothes, which then have to fit and then also be flattering. Next up, there's a little prep ironing for a few of the raw edges. The top flap gets a double folded edge since we'll see both sides of it, while the tool holder piece only needs one fold at the top and short end. The strap also gets ironed with edges to the center and then in half once more. Then it's time to top stitch the edges that were just ironed. Three edges of the top flap, two edges of the main tool holder, and along the length of the tie strap. After that, it's time to install the zipper. I use a special zipper foot on my sewing machine that can stitch up close to the zipper, sewing right sides together before ironing the seams open and top stitching along the zipper to finish it up. Now all the parts are ready to be assembled. This video is sponsored by DigiKey, which carries a staggering variety of tools for your kit. Most surprisingly to me, I found a huge selection of scissors, from teeny thread snips to big industrial shears, and they ship super fast. Head to the link in the description for more info on the tools and materials I use to make this project and fill up my tool roll. Everything gets arranged with the right sides together, using pins or clips to hold the fabric. I'll stitch all the way around the outside perimeter. And then it's time to turn it right side out and iron the new seams flat. Then it's time to stitch the top of the pocket in place, as well as the short edge of the tool pockets. Another round of top stitching finishes off the edges. The distribution of the tool dividers is completely up to you. You can customize the pocket width to accommodate your specific needs.
Lastly, stitch the strap in place wherever you like, depending on which way you would prefer to roll it up. So this is a fine place to stop if you want to keep your fabric as is, but I'm adding a wax coating to mine. Here you can see the difference between the unwaxed and the waxed versions. The waxed one is stiffer, darker in color, and has a water resistant finish. I also added a few patches to this one before the waxing since it's easier to sew the unwaxed fabric. You'll need some fabric wax or make your own with 50-50 beeswax and paraffin, as well as a heat gun. I'm using a scrap piece of cardboard to protect my work surface. You can get this stuff in a bar and just rub it onto the fabric, then apply heat to get it to soak in. This method takes a while, but you can control exactly how much wax is applied in case you want less than a complete soaking. The faster way is to melt the wax in a double boiler, then paint it on, using the heat gun to help soak it in and become evenly distributed. The only paraffin wax I had left was the remnants of uh, one of my candle experiments from that 2020 candle I made. So there's a little bit of coloring and some like mica sparkles that uh, might make this one a little sparkly, that's fine. Is it okay to wax over a zipper, closed zipper? Mm, we'll see. I think it'll fall away from the zipper when I hit it with the heat gun. Yeah, I see sparkles. <laughs> you can see the sparkles? <laughs> Happy accident. You can use these processes to reapply wax when the finish wears off. Once I got started making bags again, I let that hobby motivation carry me through another few custom sewing projects, notably for my cargo van. I used the same idea of sketching around the tools and things I keep in the van. Then I made a wall mounted bag with pockets to fit. I hope you're inspired to make your own tool roll, and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. I hope you'll subscribe with the bell to be notified of my future uploads, subscribe to my email newsletter, and find me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. This video was made with support from my sponsors and with generous donations from viewers like you through Patreon and YouTube memberships. Uh-oh. Is that a level? It was, but now it's just a bone piece. <laughs> this really needs organizing. <laughs> <laughs>